Hello everyone. Today it's time to open another Art Snacks box. So this is November. And I just got it today a little bit ago and I took the opening off as you can see. I'm using my phone to film so hopefully that goes all right. Wow, let's see what we have here. A Liquitex acrylic gouache. Cool. I don't think I've ever used gouache before. And then there's this package. Oh, wow. Look at that sticker. It's sort of November plaid. And Smarties. Yay. I love that. Most of the time I don't like the treat, but I do like, not Smarties, Sweet Tarts. They like Smarties. So we've got the menu here. I'm going to try not to peek too much, but I have learned that I should have it because I made mistakes in the past not referencing it uh, at the time. Anyway, throw that over there. Let's see what's in here. Maybe a paintbrush? What do you think? Oh, that looks familiar. So, but it's different. Whoa, wait a minute. I thought this was a watercolor pencil, but it's not. It looks like it's a graphite pencil and it's fat. 6B says Austria Creta color mega graphite. Hmm, that's not something I've seen in a box before. Ooh, this looks interesting. Sakura micro perm ultra fine permanent on most surfaces. I wonder what's different about that. And as we guessed, a Windsor and Newton Galleria number three round that's good because I always get round it seems but I don't think I've got a three before and I won't be needing my little collection of brushes which I had just in case let me swish this around so that that sizing comes off whatever that stuff and I probably should grab a paper towel I thought I had everything I needed I could have just used this I guess Let's see. The first thing on the list is, let me see if I can get this closer to me. I'm at a little bit of a walk, awkward angle here. Liquitex gouache, but this here is, and then they have the pen. Oh, of course, the last one on there is the Creta Color Mega Graphite Pencil. Let me see if I can get it where, if I move this over here and put you over there by the fox. I think it's upside down, hmm. But that's probably just for me. It's upside down for me. So, ooh, it's very soft, of course, since it's a 6B. I love that. It feels nice, but it, I don't tend to like the big fat pencils. Probably because I've got big fat fingers already. So, and I don't mean fat as in like fat, but they're, you know, big. And mine don't, mine aren't very nimble my fingers. So then they feel fat, but they're not necessarily fat, if you know what I mean. Boy, I hope I'm not digging myself into a little grave here. I really don't mean to offend anyone, pretty much ever. I'm not that kind of person, so try not to take offense at anything I say that might be stupid, because occasionally I do say stupid things. It just happens. So this is very smooth. I wonder how well it smudges. And I wonder how well it erases. Do I have an eraser handy? I do have an eraser handy. It's ugly, but it's an eraser. It's all dirty. Oof, whoops. Let's try not a dirty side. So it does seem to erase fairly well. Um, but yeah, I see some remnant. Of course, I have kind of a heavy hand. Let me try to do it really lightly and see if I can get that off works a little better when it's lighter and yeah it's pretty good for smudging and if you use something else get some movement there all right what's next on this the sakura micro perm pen so that if you want to read this you can what from paper to diamonds hmm. I don't imagine anyone writing on a diamond, but you know, who knows, huh? I wouldn't write on a diamond. No way. I like how they sparkle. Micro. So it feels like a, you know, what do you call those pins? Liner? 
fine liner. <laughs> and I am doing some terrible lines here. This is my chicken scratching. But, and I want to be gentle because I know that in the past, <clears throat> I have damaged the lovely Micron pens that I've had. Okay, so how does this stuff work? Liquitex Acrylic Gouache. New paint for new artists. Say goodbye to visible brush strokes and cracks. I think I just opened it. Oh, good. There's, am I even in screen for that? I was just playing around with it and it opened so easily. I was thinking to myself, I need a palette to put this on. But now, since it's got this nice uh, protective part there, I think I'll just use that to get the paint out. So what is this? Is this like, I don't get this. Uh-oh, I got it all over myself already. I love that I got, oh, okay. I got the cap off. Can you see that? It's like a squirty thingy. That's the technical term, you know. Not really. Oh, pfft. Oh, that's, it's really easy if you just pull it off. Okay, that's the thing. You can tell I've not done this before. So this is Liquitex Acrylic Gouache. Let's see if I can, oops, ugh, smudged it. And I didn't even give myself any room for my menu. I don't know what I'm thinking here, but I'll put it at the bottom. Because I always stick the menu in this um, mixed media book that I have here. Liquitex. Acrylic gouache. I love red. It's not my favorite color because my favorite color is turquoise, but I do love a rich kind of a blue red, you know, with a like a cool red. That's what I'm trying to say. Not a, but I mean, I like pretty much all reds, but ah, I got my pen in there. No. Uh, my favorite is more of a crimson -y on the crimson side of red, which is warm. Gouache. Make sure, pff, I have no idea if I just butchered the pronunciation there with gouache. Gouache. Oops, let's mix some water in. So I am not really sure what the difference between gouache, acrylic, and watercolor is, I think that it's kind of a in-between, you know, like in-between acrylic and in-between watercolor, somewhere in between the two, but I really don't know because I've never used it before, but I've heard of it and I've seen people use it and I've been curious about it, but I have so many art supplies that, I mean, and only so little time that you know, I've never been able to justify trying it out. So I've been trying out other things. Here I am just playing with it, and it's a beautiful color, isn't it? Okay, and then of course, there's the paintbrush, which I really like so far. So I will have to figure out what I need to do to clean this brush. I might need to use my brush cleaner, because I want to take good care of it. And I'm going to figure out something to draw with this and put into my uh, notebook. Let's see, whoops, wrong direction. You can see my fox from last month. And this was, ah, just ignore that. I was having some trouble there. I had these, whoops, supplies last month. So, and then this is how I watered down those fine liner colors. And this color, wow. Yeah, I wasn't really sure what to draw with it. I did the ground with that bright color, which, yeah, it's not great. Oh, and I totally messed up my fox right there. Hmm. But, you know, this isn't like a wonderful book or anything. All right, well, that's the box for this month. And unfortunately, uh, Art Snacks has announced that they're changing their pricing for those of us who, really, I don't think it's changing too much. I don't know if it's changing for everyone else, but I can't get my $20 boxes anymore. They were. And so I can if I get a whole year in advance because they have, you know, a discount if you pay for a lot at once. So I don't know. We'll see if I keep doing these. But thanks for joining me today and have a great day. Bye.